Boy, do we have a fun taste test for you guys this week. We are doing Aldi versus Trader Joe's. Once again, we're trying two different types of chips from two different types from Aldi and two different types from Trader Joe's that are quite comparable, so I've heard. So I'm just gonna show you guys real quick before we get into it. We're gonna taste test the patio potato chips from Trader Joe's and then the dressed up potato chips from Aldi. What I've heard is the difference these are all individually flavored chips, so you get a handful and you don't know what you're gonna get. And these, the chip flavor is all in one in each chip. So each chip is gonna taste the same in this bag, but still really excited to try the difference. We're also- We also got the corn dippers, which are elote seasoning. Yes. Uh, so both the same thing for the most part. I can't tell any visible difference between the two, but I'm excited to try them out. We're gonna find out. Um, and also we have a bunch of other things we're gonna try. So I can't wait to share with you guys everything that we figure out, what we like, what we don't like, and you know we're gonna be honest with you. But before we get into this taste test, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet already. We do these videos every single week. And now it's time to do the taste off. All right, so we have two takeout ramen containers that were so easy to make. You literally just empty the noodles and the sauce packet into these containers and then you microwave for two minutes. So they've been sitting and they should be nice and warm. We're gonna try the Pad Thai ramen first. And then once we're done trying this one, Tim's gonna try a pizza, the yes. breakfast pizza. Little breakfast pizza, everybody. Yeah, ooh, this is piping hot. Ooh. Sweet. It is sweet. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you right away, the noodles are way too mushy for me. I don't like the texture of the noodles. I feel like they taste like they're overcooked, soggy noodles. I like mm -hmm. the more firm noodle. And I just think like, I don't know, it just tastes a little overcooked. As far as the sauce goes, yeah, it is a sweet, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a little more sweet. Um, it has like that sweet sour type of flavor to it. But honestly, the noodles kind of kill it for me. So I, I probably wouldn't buy this again. We will try the teriyaki, but what was your opinion? Um, I agree with the texture of the noodles. It is a little bit mushy, and I, I know what you mean. Like the top ramen brand, it's got a little bit more rigidity to it. This one's a little bit mushier, like I said, and I was fine with it. It wasn't like a deal breaker for me. It's not traditionally, I'm not a big ramen eater, but um, this one, that wasn't too bad for, for me. I think um, first thing that I thought of was, wow, that's sweet. Like yeah. this is that it's like a almost like an orange or what is that? Do you know? Well, it says it's pad thai. I I don't know if it is the traditional pad thai flavor, but I will say that it 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 reminds me of a like a chili sweet sauce. Yeah, like yeah. that's from. That's, yeah, that's kind of what it reminds me of. A little bit of the sweet and sour too. Not necessarily reminiscent for me personally of pad thai because. When we were in Thailand, we had authentic traditional pad thai made for us fresh right in front of our eyes, and it didn't taste like this. So I think <laughs> <Who'd have thought? laughs> um, if you're in a crunch though, you want something to like take with you, maybe try it out, see if you like it. I just personally wish the noodles were less, you know, a little more al dente or whatever, so. Yes, well let's move along though. Pizza time. So I've got here a breakfast pizza. This is kind of like a Denver omelet kind of pizza. So it's got the green bell pepper, onion, and bacon. Yeah. Uh, bacon bits. And there's um, a lot of bacon on there. Yeah, so uh, I'm excited. It's also got like cheddar cheese and I'm not sure, like a Monterey Jack or whatever that is, but uh, I'm excited to try it. It smells delicious. <laughs> and it's thin crust, which is probably nice because if you're having it for breakfast, you don't want mm. like a huge thick crust, you wanna just enjoy the toppings, I feel like. Yeah, I gotta, like get, I gotta get a good taste on it, you know? <laughs> You like it. I mean, it has bacon, so mm. of course you like it. Yes. It's like your favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it does have, you know, breakfast feels to it. Yeah? Um, there's no egg or anything like that. Uh, it's That would make it a little bit weird, I think, but I think that is like a traditional breakfast pizza does actually have like egg. Oh, I, I, I you think could add egg to it, I guess. It could, but you don't need to. Yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Um, it's really good. It, it reminds me of breakfast, but um, I'm hungry, so I'm like really tempted to just devour this thing. So <laughs> good. Well, two thumbs up. you got to take a pause because we are going to try the teriyaki Roman now. We'll see how this one compares to the pad thai one. Now I am I'm actually starting to theorize here. I it says to cook this with the lid closed in the microwave. 
I might have left the lid on too much and then it steamed in there and overcooked the noodles. That might be, like, might have mm. been my fault. User error. It could have been because I didn't want to open them so that it got cold, but I'm just seeing all this steam come out and I'm like, okay, the noodles again seem really soggy. So that might have been my bad. If you microwave it, try once it's done to open the lid so it doesn't continue to cook. That might do the trick. This one's got a bunch of sesame seeds on it. It does. Okay, that one tastes even sweeter than the other one. Really? Yeah. It's super sweet. It does have a sweetness to it, but I I personally like the teriyaki flavor better. Yeah. I think that it's overall, um, again, the texture didn't bother me at all, but I, I think the flavor of the teriyaki is just more of my uh, my general taste that I go for than, yeah. than the uh, pad thai, but it was really good. Uh, don't have much more to say. I don't, I don't eat this very often. You're the more of the expert when it comes to ramen, so. You know what's crazy? 16 grams of sugar in this. Wow. Wow. Not that necessary. is insane. Not necessary. Honestly, I do feel like it takes away from the taste of this because this one has 13 grams. I was right. This you one has it. more sugar. You're right. <laughs> so um, I, I feel like they overdid it with the sugar content. I don't understand why everything has yeah. to have sugar in it. But I will say it just kind of takes away from that. Like I wanted a more savory flavor, not a sugary Me flavor. Too. And Me I too. feel like this was very sugary. Oh, and by the way, Benson's home. He is officially in summer now. So you'll see him in the background and he might come up and sneak some tastes especially of those donut ice cream bars that we're gonna be trying at the very end. Now, before we get into the sweets portion, we are going to try the savory chips, and it is officially time to do the Aldi versus Trader Joe's chip taste test off. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with my favorite chips, the patio potato chips from Trader Joe's. The last bag I bought, sadly, RIP, died to the hands of me because I finished the bag. <laughs> um, it was so good. I remember, I just, I always look forward to these chips every season. They're so delicious. So because I have tried these before, we're going to start with these because I know how much I like them. You know, I feel like that's the way a bag of chips is supposed to die. Yeah. You know, so a little, a uh, little background on these. They, they taste a lot like a McDonald's cheeseburger. That's how I always describe <laughs> it. I haven't had one in like over a decade, but here we go. These are so good. Honestly, I love that each and every chip is individually flavored. There is sea salt and vinegar, d delicious dill, home style ketchup, and barbecue flavored chips. So each chip is unique in yeah. one of those flavors. And when you get a handful and you try them all together, it makes a really like pizzazzy bite. And each bite is different because you get different flavorings in each time. These are gonna be all just one chip taste the same. So we'll try these in a second. So I'm just gonna say the patio potato chips knock my socks off. They are so good. They are my favorite chip and the dill pickle chips too. Those two are my favorite. Let's get into the Aldi all this. dressed wavy potato chips. Now just to remind you what are in these chips, it's a mixture of barbecue, salt, vinegar, and ketchup. So it's missing the dill. So I know it's gonna taste different. But we're gonna see just how different they are going to taste. Okay. Ooh, they smell like barbecue and chips. And they're wavy yeah. too. They're not. They're wavy. They're not like those others. They're so. like oh yeah, those are like Chris Crisp. Or no, those are wavy too. Kind they're of. Just small waves. These are big waves, small waves. Taste to me like barbecue. Yeah. It, all of them oh, taste like that. You can right? you can taste the salt and vinegar too. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Oh, and the ketchup. It kind of hits you at, <laughs> at all different times. Ooh, that's interesting. I'd say it's heavy on the barbecue flavor, but there are hints of all the rest. So initially you get that barbecue bang in your mouth. Then I taste the salt and vinegar. And at the very end, I get that ketchup flavor. These are actually really good too. It does have that end, end ketchup flavor. Yeah. I get that too. And they're like, they're very salty. They got the tang. They have the barbecue flavor. All said and done, it's a close call to be honest. I do like the uniqueness that these chips have. Like I haven't really had a chip like this before where you have it all in one. But I just can't yeah. deny how much I love these chips. And I do like that there's the smaller waves and they're a little bit more crispy, crunchy and have like that really pungent 
tang to them, which I love. Yeah, I agree. I think overall, the Trader Joe's patio potato chip is just a better chip. Yeah. Um, I actually like the fact that there's all the different flavors, not all in one, because you're getting the all in one when you put them together. Mm -hmm. But with the all dressed one from Aldi, uh, it, it to me tastes like a barbecue and ketchup potato chip. Yeah. Um, which is like, hmm, it's different for sure, but not not better than patio potato chips. So. Yep. They're there's both our, good though. Yeah, there's the verdict. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna take a little drink break because um, we got lots of salt going on. So I actually, Tim made this cold brew, instant cold brew coffee. This is from Trader Joe's. I don't know if it's out yet or not, but I had, had mine from last year. So we just made a little instant coffee and we're gonna try the new Califia S'mores Creamer. Now, I will be honest, we opened this this morning and used a little bit, but I mixed it with my cookie butter one. So I didn't get the full flavor because I was at the very tail end of the cookie butter. And I will say- It was good. It was mm. good. So we'll see what it tastes like just um, on its own though and see how that fares. I poured a good amount of creamer so we can really taste the flavor of it. You wanna go first time? Sure, I'll do it. <laughs> wow. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> I, I think that the creamer is really good. Uh, the flavor of that like s'mores definitely comes through. It doesn't taste uh, any level at all of like synthetic flavor, which is ideal. Um, it's just really good. I, I like it a lot and it gives a little bit of uh, that, that summer vibe flavor to your coffee in the morning. Yeah, I actually think this reminds me so much of Bailey's. It has oh, a very Bailey's yeah. flavor to it. It's like that creamy, um, whatever flavor Bailey's is, it tastes almost identical to me. So actually for for Tim saying it tastes like summer, for me it tastes like winter. It tastes like oh, a wow. Christmas coffee. Um, I'm not getting too much of the s'mores flavor out of it. What? No, I'm not. I t literally taste like I'm drinking a Bailey's coffee. Like <laughs> I am not kidding. It tastes so much like Bailey's to me. I really enjoy it. I think it's delicious and I can't wait to put this in my coffee tomorrow morning. I bought two bottles and I'm happy I did. We love the Califia Farms. Um, okay, we're going to move on. Do you want to try the uh, Elote Corn Dippers and then the yes. Mexican Street Corn big corn dippers. Yeah, definitely. So we'll start with Trader Joe's since we've had these ones before. Yep. So these are the organic Elote corn dippers. So these are huge. If you haven't had the Trader Joe's corn dippers, they have plain ones too. They're really good. They're a little addicting to be honest. These They're like so big Fritos, but more puffy and more crunch than Fritos have. And more seasoning. Well, these do. Yeah. Oh, these are fantastic. These are so good. I love these. Mm. I need one more. So these definitely have like a little kick to them, but the overall seasoning is kind of like Cooler Ranch Doritos yeah. and they're very okay. addicting. Like you, once you have one, it's really hard to contain yourself and not grab, you know, a handful or two or three more because they're so good. Now it's time for Let's the- Let's see oh. how that all the ones stack Let's up. Let's see. Ooh, okay, so these look- Less- Like almost the same though. They, honestly, they're very similar. They look almost like literally the same, yeah. but let's try them. Mmm. I think I like those ones better. Those are good. Those are really good. Like a little bit saltier maybe? Mmm. Yeah, maybe. They're the same um, type of like corn dipper chip. Like the, the mm. actual vessel the, that doesn't have the seasoning on it. How do I explain it? The corn. The chip. <laughs> the chip. Those are the same as the Trader Joe's ones. Mm. These have a good kick to them again. Like like I'm, my mouth is heating up, but it's not too much. It's not too spicy. And it has a great flavor. They're really good. Mmm. You like these ones better? Yeah. I feel like I like these better too. These yeah. are good. It's a little bit less of that elote seasoning, but you don't lose the flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit like, I think there's a little bit more of the salt in these ones. Slightly, it's very slight. I think so. I think so, but. 135 milligrams and 135, same sodium. Oh, well, it comes through better here. I don't know, the both of them actually do have a bit of spiciness to them, uh, but it's kind of like that pepper spiciness, not yeah. like not like hot sauce spicy. All in all, both of them are delicious, so whatever store you're at, pick them up, because they're great, yeah. but I would choose the Aldi ones. ones, yeah. They're almost literally, they're so neck and neck as yeah. far as comparable. They're almost identical, but 
there is something special about the Aldi ones. The Aldi ones have just like a slightly, just a little bit more of an addicting flavor. <laughs> and they're it's, 10 calories lower too, so oh, notice that. Oh, <laughs> win, win, win. Okay, cool. Well, um, I'm actually surprised, but I'm excited because Probably the only ones are cheaper too. I don't yeah, remember, but probably. you guys can let me know if they are or not. We're gonna move on to the last chip. Okay. This is the fried pickle ranch flavored chips. So yes. these are all you, honey. I know, that's fine. I will gladly try these. They also have spicy pickle chips from Aldi, which a bunch of you have told me those are delicious. I'll be honest, I was a little hesitant with the word spicy because I didn't want it to be too spicy, but a lot of you guys told me that it's not like overkill, so I'm probably gonna get those next time. But here is the ranch pickle. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. This requires another chip. No, this is like, this tastes like a salad. A salad? Yeah. Okay. All no, right. they, it really does. I will try one. It tastes like cucumber and like lettuce to me and tomato. <laughs> I don't know. It tastes like a salad to me so much. Celery. It's celery. I'm, t I'm tasting celery. You're then. tasting celery? Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of see what you're talking about, but I think it's the ranch flavor that makes it taste like a dressing. There's tomato powder in here. What? I called that. It totally tastes like a salad. Yeah, I guess so. Well, there you go, it's perfect for you, honey. What did you think? Did you, they, they don't taste pickly to you, do they? They, they taste more dilly than pickly. Like yeah. It, it's it's more of like a dill flavor, not like, it's a little bit pickly. It's not as pickly as a Trader Joe's. Not one. at all. So. It's kind of a light seasoning, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's it's subtle. It's it's not over well, overpowering. They're so different than any chip I've ever had and I actually really like them. I mean, if you can make a chip taste like a salad, <laughs> Which is so funny because salad is my favorite. So let's make a salad into a chip. I'm like really liking these. I think they'll be good actually in a salad. Let, let's take like something really top. healthy and make it something <laughs> exactly. not. Exactly. Hashtag America. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, those are, those are interesting. And it's so funny because I definitely tasted like cucumber, tomato, celery, and there's tomato powder in there. So I'm, you know, patting yeah, myself on the back on you that should. one. <laughs> That's all the savory. Now we're gonna take a pause and go grab those ice cream bars so we can try those next. Yummy. Now last but not, certainly not least, is the donut strawberry ice cream bar. So they look like little mini donuts. They're so cute and so teeny tiny. And you see Benson's joining us. He is growing out his hair for summer. So in the comments, let him know how cute of a little surfer boy he looks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the first bite because I can't help it. <laughs> this looks so good. Mmm. Oh! oh! Ice cream is pink in the middle. Well, you can see it now. Here, get a get a crunchy bit. Mm. Okay, so those are so good. They taste so strawberry flavored. They're obviously naturally flavored, so mm. they're not tasting like a real strawberry, but. They taste really good. And Tim and Benson are just chowing down. I will say the little chocolate coating on the outside has little crunchy bits in it. I think it's the sprinkles. Oh my gosh, that's the best part. This whole thing is so good. It's I so good. Far exceeded my expectations. Me too. Those are such cute little summer treats too. Benson, what do you think? <laughs> As you're taking a bite. <laughs> so you do you think they taste like strawberry? Mm, sort of. Sort of? Do you like the sprinkles? Yeah. Me too. Mm. That's a yummy ice cream bar for the summer. Oh my gosh, these are so good. They are, are really yummy. Um, it's non-dairy, I think, right? No, it's oh, not non-dairy. Okay, I was gonna say, they did a great job if it was. Yeah, no. Um, but the, I love the strawberry flavor. I think so it's yummy. really good. Yep, um, I definitely think we all give these two thumbs up. Definitely. Two mm -hmm. thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, three well, thumbs up. Three, oh, three thumbs up. <laughs> that is it for this week's taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was so much fun. We are having a lot of fun just tra taste testing Trader Joe's versus all these stuff. So we're going to keep trying to think about other items that we can compare. When we were walking through Aldi the other day, it was hard to recollect everything. 
but I think the two chips were perfect for this week because we're going right into summer barbecue season, chip season, and it was fun. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and then you can get all this fun content year round. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.